Hey guys, today we're going to look into how to upgrade um, the hard drive for older Macs. And this is the model A1278. Um, it's going to be the same ones maybe around 2011, 2012. Um, this of course is a custom backing, but yeah, let's get right into it. Um, so the first thing you want to do is to take off the back cover. And all you need, just get a Phillips head screwdriver. Um, one that's kind of small, not too small though. Um, you can use a small one if you like, that's fine. Um, what I like to do, I like to start at the back. Um, I know there's three long screws here that go in the back corner. Um, so let's remove those. This one isn't too bad um, compared to the other ones. Some of them have it um, where it's like M.2 those are the drives that kind of just attach to the motherboard themselves. This is um, just a basic one, like any normal hard drive you can find um, for a laptop. Um, we're going to be using the Samsung uh, Evos. We really like them here, and um, yeah, we use them most of the time for hard drive replacements. Um, they do come with a five years manufacturer's warranty as well, um, and that's good. And of course, we cover you for three months as well. So it's a very typical issue though for the hard drive to go bad. Um, that's one of the first things that goes to hard drive and battery. So of course you always want to um, take off the battery. Make sure, just unplug it here. So this is it right here, it plugs in, you can see it connects. Um, you can just get a little bit in there, see it pop it up. And we want to do that because just in case you touch anything on accident, um, we really don't want to be not missing the board here, it's all open. So and all it is um, right now, the hard drive is just right here. So there's two screws right here, one and two. We can remove one. And you don't have to totally remove them. Um, it just, just comes up, see right when the last part comes. So it's just this little piece right here. We can put that to the side. And now you just take the little ribbon. Most of the ones that haven't been replaced before have a little ribbon like this. You have to be really careful. So lift it partially up here, and you'll see right here there's a little attachment. And um, of course, if you pull it up all the way, um, see there's a ribbon right here that attaches to it. So you can't pull it up all the way, otherwise you would tear it. So you want to make sure you remove this piece. Okay, right there. Looks good, right? Okay, now um, we do see attached to this, there are these four um, silver, they're kind of like screws. I guess that's the best way to do it. Um, it's a special screwdriver for this one. Um, you're going to need one of those star head ones. We have one right here that does it. Um, let's see if I can focus on this. But it pretty much looks like it's a, a star. Uh, it's a six, six little rivets there. And you want to make sure you remove. Now, what what these little screws here do? They hold in um, the little hard drive right here. It goes right on top, and you can see. Let's see. You can see right there. There's always little orange pegs right there. Um, it helps hold the hard drive in a little bit better. Um, you can realistically, you can only use two. You don't really need more than two, but um, it's always recommended to put more just to, because the hard drive is a very, very important part. Um, so, yep, so let's do this. Finish removing this. Okay. And once you're done, so you don't need this anymore, this hard drive, we can put that to the side. And here's our Samsung SSD that we're going to put in. And we're just going to do the same thing we just did. So now we're just putting everything back to the way it was. Okay, we're going to screw them in, and they all have the same holes. Um, every hard drive is pretty much the same. There's two sizes. There's a desktop size and, um, and a laptop size. So they're called, this is called a two and a half inch hard drive, specifically. Let's see. The other ones are three and a half inches. They're quite a bit thicker. Let's see, okay. All right, so once you get that in, um, what you want to do here, I like to connect it first, really put it really close to it. Make sure it matches up. Of course, there's only one way to put it anyway. So once you get them lined up, you can push it in. 
and go down in like this where you'll just line up the rivets and the orange holes and then it'll fall flat right there and it'll fall completely flat and you can see that's kind of where you're going to put this back on top so now we can screw this in okay so that's it right there now what we can do we can plug it back in the power cable right here okay that's just for the battery and pretty much that's it um, and we will just put it back together now so you can put the bottom cover back on top and um, again these three screws go at the bottom the long ones you tell they're it would only fit one way anyway but um so it's good to have a, an idea of what screws go where the rest of the same size after this so you can pretty much do whatever you're um, I do know with the other MacBooks it is a little bit different some of the screw sizes are different um, for each one the back and the front you could tell they'll jet out a little bit if you put them in the wrong way it's always recommended to put in the way that you got them out of course I didn't do that here but I know these are all the same so I'm not too worried about it screw all these back in okay now you're all good to go Um, yep, so that looks like it's it. Alright, so um, have a good one.